Beach. What's up? Where are we? Uh, we're at the airport, um, Terminal 2. Uh, so I'm still at the Phoenix airport and I'm getting ready to fly out. It's literally four in the morning and my eyes are so red. Look at you guys, look at my eyes, how red they are because I got my eyelashes done. Um, but aren't they pretty? Look at these eyelashes. Aren't they like super cute? Look at them. <laughs> but, um, so I'm getting ready to fly out. I, um, I'm so tired. I can't even talk. I leave at five in the morning and then I get to LA like at I think like seven or something. And then I have like a four hour layover. So I'm gonna hang out in LA at the airport for four hours. And then from there I go to Beijing. And then from Beijing I go to Seoul, South Korea, which I have to actually rebook my hotel. Well, not rebook my hotel, I have to add a day because I thought I was getting there November 5th. And in reality, I'm getting there November 4th. Yeah. Which I'm a dumbass, but I didn't know any better, so. No comment on that one. So I'm like really sad, but, <laughs> well, I'm not sad. I'm just like so tired and stressed. That's the last thing I want to do. But it's a 24 hour flight, like duration with layovers and everything. So I'm just gonna like eat junk food and listen to music. And I really like flying. Like I really like long flights though. I think they're really like relaxing once you're on the fucking plane. But the problem, the problem with this flight is that I don't, I can't take any sleeping pills or like pop a quarter of a Xanax or anything because I'm not supposed to have any medicine prior to the surgery. And I can't drink alcohol either or liquor, so, which really sucks because I usually like to take advantage of like the free wine, but. Nice. That I will know. must be nice. But anyways, I will keep you guys updated and um, yeah, say bye, Josie. See you guys. guys I don't actually have my consultation um, it's the morning after I got here and oh my god I was so exhausted last night I was like I was beat so bad but I want to show you guys the view a little bit of my room this is just the first room that I'm gonna be in this isn't the first room that I'm staying in um, like I said I booked a day early which was I came here a day earlier than I intended because of the fucking time difference but let me show you guys the view but look at this beautiful makeup. Oh my god, I'm glowing. Guys, look at this view of like South Korea. It's so of Seoul. It's just like so, I don't know. It's very like, reminds me of Thailand a little bit, but also of like New York. It's just so pretty. But anyway. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to go grab breakfast. I probably am not going to be vlogging a lot of like the extra activities that I do because I'm, I don't really think you guys need to see that. I don't think you really care. Um, but yeah, I am going to, tomorrow is my consultation. So I'm going to be obviously filming all of that and I hope you guys enjoy. So yeah. Okay, you guys. So this is actually the hotel where I'm going to be at for the next nine nights. There's a, like a really deep bathtub and I'm excited. There's like the little sink and stuff like that. Oh, I'm so excited. I want to take a bath so bad. So there's that. And then two little beds. I think I'm going to like jump from one bed to the next bed and just like have fun by myself here. And so there's like a little coffee maker, a little table. The only thing I don't like about this room is like 
obviously you can't see like the street or anything there's like a little secret garden and then some other building and like this dirty window or whatever but I'm pretty pleased with it I'm just like uh, I'm so ready to relax I'm exhausted so I'm on my way to the consultation now finally the day has come and I had to grab a cab I went to exchange money first really fast and I was having such a hard time grabbing a taxi and um, was able to get one like last minute but my appointment's in like 20 minutes so I hope I make it there on time and um, yeah you guys I'm just really like it just I just I don't I just feel so weird but anyways um, Okay, you guys, so I am super, super fucking exhausted. I literally just got back to my hotel room. I left here at noon, and it is now like 8 o'clock. So I went to my consultation. I had everything discussed to me about what the procedure was going to be like. They gave me some, like... They made me do like these voice recordings. They gave me blood tests. They, I went and got an x-ray. Um, we did some audio recordings. I talked to Dr. Kim. Um, it was just like, I mean, it was so much more than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be something really simple and really fast. And it wasn't. Then, you guys, I ran into an issue with my fucking bank because I did not know... Because when it came time to pay for the procedure, which was like 7400 US dollars, um, I didn't know that my bank had an actual limit to uh, how much you can withdraw in a day as far as like transactions go. So I ran it for the full amount. It didn't go through. And then I did it for half and it went through. And for some reason it wouldn't, it wasn't working. So I called the bank. They let me know that I had reached my daily limit and I was going to either have to wait until it hit midnight in the U.S. in Arizona or that I was going to just have to wait and call back in the morning, which that was not going to work because my surgery is scheduled in the morning. So I was like really stressed out. I went and had lunch came back, tried running it again. It didn't work. Called the bank again. They said there was nothing that they could do. Tried running it again. It didn't work. Called the bank back again. Try. I was going to try to like beg this time to see if they could do something. And the guy was like, well, you just have to call in the morning. Like, it's, you know, there's going to be like specialists at 9 a.m., which would have been 9 a.m. Arizona time would have been 2 a.m. here in South Korea. So, and my surgery was scheduled, is scheduled at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. So that wasn't going to work. And for some odd reason, I tried running it again. I just felt like I needed to and it fucking worked. I was like, oh my God, you know, like how crazy, crazy, crazy is that? I'm like so tired, you guys. I'm so tired. So then the card worked. I got, you know, was done with the consultation, grabbed a cab to come back home and on the pre-op checklist, it says that you cannot have nail polish on your hands, which I had acrylics and I took them off. So I went and found a nail shop and I took them off. I got them taken off. Well, when I was at the nail shop just now, I was going to pay for, you know, to get them taken off. And I noticed I didn't have my envelope with my money in it, with my money that I exchanged. So luckily I paid with my card and that worked and I came back to my room running back here to see if I left it here and it was on the fucking that counter right there. 
what a hectic day. I'm like so, so exhausted. Like this is probably one of the most exhausting days I've ever had in a long time. Stressful, I should say, not exhausting. It's just like, it's been stressful. You guys, that's not even the worst part. My stupid ass decided to go to this consultation thinking I was literally gonna get into a cab, get dropped off at Yazon, get picked up at Yazon, come back to my hotel. So I wore heels. Oh my God, it was so hectic getting a cab. It was hectic finding a place to, to eat because I'm vegan. So it wasn't really that easy to find food for myself. Oh my God, it's been so stressful. And these are first world problems. So you guys don't, you know, I know that there's so much going on right now that this, my problems aren't, are fucking nothing really in comparison. But, and I know that, but I'm just like, ugh. I really thought that this was just going to be like a really, really simple process. And I'm like so tired. I need to wash my hair. I am going to go look for something to eat. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to take a hot bath. And I'm going to sleep. I already have my cab scheduled in the morning, my taxi. Which is what I should have been doing. But you guys, I'm such a like... I used to excuse like my shitty planning with like saying that I was a free spirit and blah, 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 but that you guys, that's not an excuse. Like I am just really shitty at planning things and I try to leave everything last minute. I'm very spontaneous, spontaneous, which is not really a justification. I'm just like very, I'm just a bad planner. I'm a shitty person really when it comes to planning things, but, um, Ah, I just want to rest, you guys. This has been, it's like very unreal, you know, that this, it's just unreal that it's going to happen already. And you know what, to be honest, like with the consultation, it kind of makes me a little bit nervous because Dr. Kim was telling me that I compensate my voice tremors because I do have voice tremors. Um, he says that I compensate my voice tremors um, by using a lot of breath when I speak, which is true because I have been told that. And he was like, it's going to take a while for you to adjust to your new voice because you're going to subconsciously want to drop into your overcompensation when you speak. And so when your vocal cords are shortened and you no longer have the tremors, you're going to want to speak the same. So your your brain is going to go back to what you're so used to doing that once you have the surgery, like, you're not going to have to stre stress yourself when you speak. So the way that he was explaining it almost was like it's so much of a mental process, you know? It's not just about, like, speaking and trying to find um, what feels comfy, but it's also about, like, sort of undoing um the way that I speak and the way that I try you know the the things that I do in my throat in order for my voice to come out the way that it does which is so funny because I never have had voice training and it's not like I try to do my voice any certain way it was funny enough um when we were doing the audio recordings you know he was telling me to you know, talking like, like lower my pitch. And it seemed like it was harder to lower it than it was to bring it higher. So anyways, you guys, I will probably go more into detail, um, when I get back from dinner or, um, I don't know. I'll go into detail at some point. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Maybe in the morning when I wake up or something. I'm just so tired, you guys. I, I need to like get some rest, but like, my eye makeup is so fucked. Like, my eyes have been, like, red all day. Oh, I'm so tired. Anyways, I will keep you guys updated again and again and again. Okay, you guys, it's, like, 6.40 a.m. <clears throat> and I'm on my way to Yezon to get my surgery. And I'm really nervous. And I'm, like, super thirsty and hungry. Um... I stopped eating last night around 8 p.m. And I stopped drinking liquids at 10 p.m. Um, so I'm like really, really thirsty. And I look like 
really crappy right now, but I don't care. I mean, I don't like that bad. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so my hotel ordered me a taxi because I don't want to be dealing with like the hassle of getting a cab. You guys look how tired I look. Like I have hardly slept at all the past few nights. It's just been hard sleeping here. I already have a problem sleeping as it is. So yeah. And also, I forgot to mention that I forgot to take off my nail polish on my toes. And this morning, when I woke up, I read on the page that it also said toenails. You cannot have any nail polish on your hands or on your feet. So I rushed my ass over to the convenience store across the street and got myself some polish remover. And I took it off. But yeah, I'm just waiting on the taxi now, you guys. <clears throat> I really hope, like, God, I just really hope I get the results that I want, you know? I hope it's, like, a very subtle change. But, yeah, so, I don't know. Okay, you guys, I'm all ready to go. Got my little IV drip, my little TV. So, I'm pretty much ready, and I think they're going to start in, like, five minutes. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm really nervous so yeah anyways I'll see you guys soon